All right, Yins, welcome back to an another episode of Shop Chef. And if you're wondering why, it's because I'm starving and it's getting colder outside. And that means we need more chili. So for this chili, we're gonna change it up a little bit from what most people perceive as chili. We're not gonna do the ground beef in the pan. What we're gonna go with here is a like chunkier, uh, old fashioned esque before ground meat existed type chili. Basically, we're gonna smoke a big hunk of meat, chop her up, and put her into like the chili sauce. Should be pretty damn good. First things first, we need the meats. Okay, so what we've got here is a sirloin tip roast. It's basically like the tri-tip, except it's not just the bottom, it's the full thing. We're gonna season it, and no, I'm not washing it. My boy Cosmo don't wash his meats. I'm not washing my meats. We're gonna season it, get her on the smoker so it can come up to temperature, and then uh, go ahead and start prepping all the stuff for the rest of this, this chili. So to season this thing, we're going with my boy Cosmo's, two of, two of the most delicious things I've ever put in my mouth made by his company, Cosmos Q. We've got his SPG, we're gonna do a little bit of that and a little bit of cow cover, both amazing and I've used them at home for smoking. Should be really, really nice in a chili. All right, so now that my meats are all seasoned, we're gonna get this thing on the smoker. I've got, I got it to like 275. We're gonna smoke it till it gets to eh, about 130, 135. That should be about rare and then we'll finish it in, in, in the chili after I give it a little sear. To the smoker! So now that the meat is coming up to temp, we are gonna start prepping some of the vegetables. If Jordan could shut up behind us. What is this, a workshop? We're gonna be cooking on the grill in this cast iron Dutch oven. This thing should, it should be perfectly conducive for what we're doing. We've got a whole, uh, this is I believe a yellow onion. I don't know, it's an onion. We're putting an onion in there. So we're gonna start out by dicing the onion. If you don't know how to dice an onion, Google it, because it's a great skill to have in life, period. If you haven't diced an onion, quick tip, you keep the fuzzy butt part on there. This will also help with it not spewing your eyeball juices out. What's like tears? I don't know, I've never had them. Um, so, next thing you're gonna do <laughs> is learn how to hold a knife, pinch, right here. We got a chef's knife here. Uh, you wanna just come down your onion. We're going with a little bit of a rustic chop here keeping my fingers out of the way. When you come in, slice across. We're gonna give this one a do -si dough, which will be two. Man, I had some good coffee this morning. I'm on one. And you just come down and dice. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at that. They're, the whole point of the dice, I think a lot of people get this misconstrued. Why are you doing this? It's to get a uniform size so they cook the same. When you like just chunk things up and throw them into stuff, it's fine. It's not so much for looks, it's more just gonna give you an uneven cook. So next thing we are going to do is, uh, we're gonna get about four, I'm Italian, I like garlic. We're gonna get about four or five heads of garlic. But first, we need to tune this knife up slightly and we're in the shop. <laughs> give me that Tormac. Next, like I said, it's the garlic. We got a nice sharp knife, some fresh garlic. You can use the stuff that's pre-minced if you want. Garlic's a little sticky, so we got a little tip to keep it off your knife. You just put a little water onto the knife as you're working it, and it should help the garlic not stick as much. So I'm gonna go for another rustic chop here. I want the garlic to have some bite. I'm not really trying to make it disappear, or I would have used a paste. I'm an Italian. Garlic is life. You sick? Garlic. You tired? Garlic. You vampire? Garlic. That's all my grandfather and grandmother ever did. All right, so we're just gonna put this in here. I'm gonna get the onions on first and then add the garlic so the garlic, one, doesn't burn, and two, so I can get those sweating a little bit. We'll move on to the, the wet canned ingredients. All right, so we've got the, hold on. We don't have a wooden spoon. Let's just go make one.
All right, now that we got a spatula, a spatula in fancy words, olive oil. All right, so pretty stoked here. This is the brand new pit boss with Wi-Fi capabilities. So we're actually controlling the heat of this sucker from inside where there's no of this, none of this beautiful sunshine. But it's pretty cool. You can hook it up to take temperature probes. You can control the heat and stuff in here. Awesome, beautiful new grill. Super stoked to have uh, the opportunity to have one. We love our pit boss. You know that. Really, really nice. Sweet. Love the new all black. John, that's great. All right, so I wanted to get like a poblano or a hatch. The store I went to didn't have any, so we're just gonna stick with these kind of like mini peppers. These are just for Keller. Uh, a lot of people like green pepper. A green pepper is actually just a um, premature, <laughs> uh, just a premature pepper. So it doesn't have that much flavor. Um, so these these little guys are kind of sweet. They should bring some, some good variation. We'll get these in there next, and then we'll start adding the rest of the ingredients. All right, so we're in here, we're on the welding table because this is hot and I need somewhere to put it. So uh, next thing we're gonna do is just start adding ingredients. I've got chipotle peppers and adobo sauce. These are delicious. I'm gonna get a little chop on them. And then we're gonna add the sauce in there too. Chop, 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 chop. chop. These are gonna pack a literal ton of flavor. Gonna work, right? <laughs> Get excited. I'm fired up and I'm also starving. Haven't had food today. Cool. Next thing is we want to go, all of that's going to go in there. Next things we got going in, crushed tomatoes, I think. Yeah, those are crushed. Then we got some drained fire roasted. I mean, if, you, if the people want it, we can write the recipe down. We like beans. Uh, these are dark red kidney beans. We talked about it as a team and that's something we love. Lastly, wet ingredient. This is a yingling lager. Phenomenal. You're gonna get a bunch of flavor with a lager. This is like a darker lager. If you can get this Keller coming out of there, it's like a, it's delicious. It's a local beer. You don't need all of it. Now I get to drink it. Mm. I've, one of my favorites. Some oregano, pow! The chili powder, you gotta love. So if you watch my content, you see us build stuff. It's all the same. These are the, <laughs> these are the same cups we use to mix epoxy. <laughs> like, there's no epoxy in these, but we've got chili powder and then some cumin, a little bit of salt. And then uh, I will come back and, and add more salt and pepper as, uh, as we taste it and it sits on there. So we'll just give her a stir. And I'm looking for a little bit of a thicker chili, so I am gonna let this thing cook down pretty good. The grill temperature, I have it screaming hot. So those of you that are gonna ask, I'm gonna use the fact that it's a grill and that there's only pellets and burning coming in the center to my advantage. If I need to cool it off, I can move it away from the center. If I wanted to get, you know, pick up some heat, I can move it back to the middle. Um, and we're gonna go with that. We'll give it some more stir once we get back on the heat. <laughs> At least it looks like chili. Worst case, it's gonna look good. Right? That's all that matters. You guys wanna come stare at my meat? We already were on the way up. You sandbagging sons of bitches! <laughs> like, my peoples, so. Chili's going on the grill. Meat is resting. Rest your meat, people. Even though we're putting it back into the chili, you gotta rest it. You gotta get them juices to suck back in. So the only thing left to do is bagged cornbread. Because I'm in the shop and I don't have time to make it from scratch. So basically gonna whip this thing up and then we're gonna smoke it because that's what we do around here. A couple ingredients, pretty easy. It literally has four ingredients. And all we have for measuring cups are Poxy cups. So this should be cool. All 
We're mixed up, we're greased up, we're ready to roll. 350 in the smoker, let's go. We are almost home. Great jam. Chunk up our meat here. She's well rested. Ooh, shit. Well rested meats. Oh, baby. Now we're going for like chunks. If you're wondering why I went with this cut, one, it's cheap. Two, I, would, I wanted to do ribeye, but I'm really trying to watch the cholesterol. So I'm gonna have to cut ribeye down to like twice a year. I know, it's sad. But the one good thing about smoking beef is that you cook a lot of the fat out. No, you don't, John, that's false. That's what I'm gonna tell myself, or at least tell my wife. We should probably taste this, huh? You boys want some? Bring your asses back here. Boys, bring your asses back here. Okay, four boys, four chunks of meat. Just do the hibachi thing. Yeah, flip one into Jordan's mouth. Yeah, can I throw it with the knife, Jordan? I mean, hibachi chefs do. With a knife? Yeah. Do they? They don't use a spatula? You sure about that? Good one. You want, you want to put money? <laughs> really you want to put money on it? <laughs> I'm telling you what. I've eaten a lot of things, and it doesn't suck. So the temperature on it, you see here. We're still like we're a little over medium. It did rest for a while. Should warm right back up there when we get it into the chili. get a little chive action on the bias. All right, so my visions and my dreams for serving this are, one, attempt to not burn myself. Okay, then you get a little bit of the meats. Oh, there we go. I did take a taste and it's kind of spicy. Our plan, my plan, I like to cut the spice with the dollop for the creme, some of this Shazam. Should probably put the sour cream on after that, huh? Who cares about layering? This isn't about photos. Get those after. And then a little chav. Well, I'll tell you what, if even, even this tastes terrible, it just sure does look good. Are we ready, kiddos? I'm talking to you two. Yeah. Good. It. All right. So. I'm, I'm talking to you, but I'm talking to you. We've got, try to get the full bite. So we've got meat, chili, cheese, sour cream, all going in. Damn, boy. Mmm. Mmm. Dude, that has so much flavor. Yeah. The cut of meat, isn't the smoke isn't isn't the most flavorful cut of meat. It's just a cheap cut of meat. It serves its purpose, but boy, that chili sauce. Great heat, great depth of flavor. I think that's coming from the beer. I think it's coming from the uh, the adobos and chilies. That's what's bringing the heat. It's good. Here, the cornbread. I'll give that a shot. Cornbread's a little cumber. Let me try cumber. to get a little bit of everything here. I mean, that is a solid bowl of chili. Jordan, try this. <clears throat> Jordan's making cabinets. It's got some heat. Ooh. It does have it's heat. It's got some heat. I like it though. That's, I'm going to sweat. That's good. <laughs> I think I got pepper in that one. Woo! That's good. I mean, I'm a fan. I love it. That's good. I didn't get any sour cream. I should have got a little sour cream. Well, good news. After you are done taking all the photos, you could eat all of it that you want. It's not as, it's, I wouldn't say it's a very tomato forward or a very traditional chili, but it's definitely got like a Southwestern feel to it. I'd love it with a little bit of cilantro, maybe a squeeze of lime for just to brighten it up a bit. Note that for next time. The only thing I might change is an addition of a little bit of sugar or some, or honey or something to counterbalance the heat. There is a lot of heat. I like heat, but sometimes when you employ sissies, you've got to take that stuff into consideration. All in all though, I'm giving this one a win. The only thing that can make this better is buttery B-roll. A little bit of smokiness, mmm, that rolls. 
You know what else rules? All of our new merchandise. If you wanna support the channel, I'm getting asked by a lot of people. Snag up some merch, helps us make these videos that we don't have sponsors for. We can keep doing the tomfoolery, all the Ask Connery, all the squirreliness, and bringing as much joy and entertainment as we can to Yin's guys. If you wanna see more cooking videos, I got another one queued up for you right here. If not, I will catch you guys back in the workshop building stuff on the next one. See you there.